Hi, I'm Roy Williams. First, let's get past the name Wizard Academy. Uh, I know that can kind of freak you out if you look at Leviticus and it says, you know, uh, you should stone the wizard with stones, let their blood be upon them. Wizard, um, a person who cowers is a coward, a person always drunk is a drunkard. A wizard is a wise man. As a matter of fact, in Matthew chapter 2, um, wise men was originally wizard. If you go to, well, we won't even go there. Just know this. <laughs> know that uh, Wizard Academy is named after the wise men that followed a star and said, where is he that is born King of the Jews? We've seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. I began my radio career in 1979 working for Dennis Worden. Now, you have to be pretty old to remember Dennis Worden and Jack Candle because KCFO-FM in Tulsa was one of the very, very, very first 24-hour FM all-Christian music stations in America. No programs, no donations, pure commercial radio. And I started there working for Dennis, and then later Jack came in whenever I failed as general manager because I'm a horrible manager, but a very good salesman. I was doing about 50,000 a month in personal spot billing, and this was in the early 80s. And the ads were working, and we were, this is, let me tell you how early this was. Reba Rambo McGuire, Evie Turnquist Carlson, the Imperials before Rust Half. And then of course, the new guy, you know, Don Francisco, he's alive. <laughs> and so, yeah, early, early, early Christian music radio. Now, what that's evolved into is a 32-acre campus, Wizard Academy, people come here from all over the world to learn about advertising and marketing, three New York Times best-selling books, The Wizard of Ads, Secret Formulas of the Wizard of Ads, Magical Worlds of the Wizard of Ads, and I recently wrote a white paper talking about two ways to look at radio. One is as a seller of access to an audience, but the other one is as a person who knows how to attract new customers to a business. And there's a different way you have to think and a different set of skills you have to acquire if you want to become the second of those. Now, I've been writing twice a month for Radio Inc. magazine for almost 20 years, 16, 17 years. Eric Rhodes has become a very good friend of mine. So I've been around radio and Christian radio since before Christian radio really even existed as a music format. I want you to come to the Gold Member event November 12th, and we're going to we're going to talk about some things heart to heart, very real now. I'm going to teach you whatever it is I have that you might find available, and I look forward to you being here because Christian radio needs to be taken a lot more seriously. Come.